Um, but we'll leave it for now. Again, very low on fuel. Like, we are in the red. We have our low fuel light on in the heads up display. Um, I'm very, very concerned. Hopefully, this distress beacon will result in us getting some fuel so we can carry on here. You arrive at the beacon and immediately detect a pirate ship. It seems the distress beacon was a trap. Okay, we are. Okay, I'm very concerned about boarding this ship because they have two rockmen. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, they have 150 health, which is very disconcerting. <sighs> Unfortunately, taking out their crew would be much better in terms of getting fuel, I believe. It increases your chances. I could firebomb them and just hope that we can take their crew out and we can weather the storm with our shields and maybe send... Oh, oh dear. Rockmen might be immune to fire. I believe they're immune to fire. I don't know. You know what? There's only one way to truly find out. So we're going to charge this firebomb and we're going to send it in. And we're going to hope that it does damage to these big mother effers. Okay, they are missing. That is fantastic. Maybe they are not the best uh, weapons specialists. Okay, that did do some damage. I don't know if he's taking continued damage or not. Um, but he put that out very quickly. Okay, I think our best bet is to turn that off. And we are just going to go about this one the old-fashioned way. Um, let's go shields first. And we're going to missile their weapons. And you know what? We're not going to missile the weapons because they're not strong enough to punch through our shield or haven't been up until this but okay as soon as i say that of course but dolan is or not dolan carl little stupid carl is doing uh his job and keeping the shields uh recharging relatively quickly and of course every time i say one of these things they take the shields down and there they just did some damage so i'm just gonna shut up and stop talking Okay, another shot or two on this shield room, and I think we may take down this Zoltan crew member, which could potentially lead to... Okay, yeah, that's on fire. The Rockmen are slow, so you know what? I think I'm going to continue firing on that room to damage the Rockmen who are in there. And I am going to teleport in and take out this Zoltan crew member. And worst case scenario, the Rockmen are so slow, I think I can just sort of dance around the ship. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take a bit of a chance here. Zoltan bro is dead. I'm going to put another shot on this ship. It didn't do much damage to the Rockman. Please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. Missiles 4, drone parts 1, scrap 17. Normally, I think I would consider that because that's a lot of missiles. But I need some fuel, man. So I'm not going to accept surrender. I'm going to stop firing that burst gun. And, oh my goodness. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to try to fight my arse off. I'm taking damage quickly. I'm taking damage quickly. Okay, we're gonna get out of there. Oh, they hit me with a, a missile, which is not good. Okay, maybe we're not taking them out. Maybe we're not taking the crew out. Maybe we're just gonna go about it the old-fashioned way. Unless I want to take the time and use two more missiles to keep firebombing them. This is a tricky situation. I'm not sure what I want to do. I really need the fuel. I think we're gonna try the firebomb route. I don't know if maybe I don't know if that's the best course of action, but we're gonna give it a go. We'll firebomb the pilot first so he doesn't jump away on us. Dolan's fixing up our uh, our weapons systems. This firebomb is taking a little longer than I would like, but we are going to put one on there. Okay, so we got one crew member down. Okay, the fire ended up taking out their ship. Please give us some fuel. There is no fuel. This is extremely, extremely worrying. We are getting extremely low on fuel. Let me use the word extremely a couple more times so you know how extreme I'm talking here. Uh, okay. We have no shop in sight. After this jump, we are going to be down to one. So we have to hope that after we move to this next sector that there is immediately going to be a shop available. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to charge. We might as well. Worst case scenario, I think we take some hull damage. Best case scenario, maybe we find some fuel amidst the asteroids. Probably not, but let's go for it. Nothing of interest. Well, friends, <laughs> it's looking pretty likely that this semi-successful run is going to end in tragedy. And we are going simply going to float amidst the loneliness of space for 
who knows how long. The slugs developed on an ocean planet where the ability to tel telepathically sense another organism was more important than sight. Today, they use this ability to navigate unfettered the depths of the nebulas they inhabit. Okay, everybody, cross your fingers because if there is not a shop in sight... Crap. Distress beacon. Okay, we'll put the distress beacon on and wait. That's our only hope at this point because we have no fuel. We are waiting. A merchant ship jumps into the sector, obviously responding to your ship's distress beacon. They hail you offering a trade for fuel. This is fantastic. We will gladly trade our missiles for fuel at this point. It is going to keep us going. Um, that is a godsend. I didn't even know that was uh, something that could happen in this game. So that's pretty nice. I think I'm going to move up because this could be absolutely wrong, but I feel like there's more of a chance of a shop being in an area that's not part of the nebula. So, we will continue, again, running on fumes at this point. You arrive to find a small slug repair station. Greetings, traveler. Care for a fix-up? We could easily patch up some of that damage. Um, we'll say, sure. You dock at the station hoping for a quick turnaround, but the automatic machines take their sweet time when the process finally finishes. You, only, you notice only one damage has been repaired. Demand an explanation. We're glad you have enjoyed our services now for payment. To ensure your cooperation, we've taken the liberty of installing a limiter on your weapon systems. Oh man, this is just brutal. Okay, I'm going to pay the 50 scrap. I guess I'm just going to bend it over and take it up the tailpipe because I don't know what a limiter on my weapon system does. Like it might... It might take away the power that I've upgraded. I'm just going to do it and move on. Tell your friends about us. Oh, I'll tell them. Don't you worry. That's really, uh, that's really, um, pretty shitty. But let's move to this distress beacon. Again, we've just got to keep our fingers crossed for fuel here. I knew someone would fall for a dastardly trap. It appears the distress beacon was nothing but a decoy. Okay, I'm, I'm running into a bunch of assholes, man. This isn't cool. Okay, they got a rockman, they got two humans, and they've got an offensive drone over here. This could be something of a fight on our hands. What I think is our best course of action is to just go about this the old-fashioned way. We're gonna missile the weapons and we are going to burst the shields. And they've also, they've got pretty much identical weapons, I think. They got one laser and one missile launcher, so... Um, did I hit their... Did my missile miss? I think my missile missed. That's unfortunate. Okay, there's the as well, so that's okay. I'm just going to leave those missiles on. Oh, that's what's happening. I'm so dumb. They have a defense drone that's shooting down my missiles. So that was a complete and utter waste. Um, looks like we're just going to have to stick to burst firing it. Okay, they are destroying my crap. Let's get you over here to repair that, because oxygen's kind of important. Okay, now they are really causing me some difficulties. We're going to open these doors because fire needs oxygen. I took science in grade 10, so I know these things. Okay, I'll move you back into the engine rooms to keep our evasion up. I really wish they would stop hitting me. They are repairing their shields faster than I can um, keep them down, which is quite unfortunate. Oh, the missiles! Okay, they're going to give up, and they're going to give us some fuel and some scrap. I'm more than happy to take that offer because we're taking more hull damage than I am comfortable with at this point. Let's close those doors. Um, Daryl has taken some damage. Dolan has taken some damage. Ken's okay. Carl's okay. And Rick is still just chilling in the captain's room. Doing just fine. Okay. So that was a little bit harrowing. I didn't I didn't necessarily like that encounter. We did get some fuel though, so that'll keep us going a little bit. Let's hit the next distress beacon because Law of Averages says eventually we'll get something that works out in our favor. You arrive near the distress beacon signal. You track the distress beacon with difficulty to one of the 11 moons of a planet hidden in the nebula. As you drift closer, you're contacted by a slug marooned on the moon's surface. I shall join your crew, say I, if you can answer me this simple question. How many moons are there in orbit here? I'm pretty sure it just said 11. I'm going to be very embarrassed if I was wrong, though. But I think it was 11. Okay, thank you. You know what? I bet if I wasn't reading this out loud, I would have forgot. That is correct. You surprised me. Human, is it? Yes, we can be partners. Okay, so we got uh, Mr. Slug. Sluggy Slug. This guy can see um, all adjacent rooms, even when you're in a nebula. 
and you can't and your and your cameras are defunct so to speak so that's kind of nice um still i would much prefer a mantis at this point i would really love a mantis but that doesn't seem to be in the cards for me um let's continue on this way we are going to hope for a shop we have been extremely unlucky with our um our occurrence of shops so far you detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost let's defend it detecting the higher threat the automated ship moves in to engage your ship they have got a lot of weapons but no shield so hopefully um with any luck i'll be able to get my my uh my burst off before they get like 15 of them that's one and two and we absorb most of it so that's okay we took out the uh uh, two two thirds of their weapons, so that's not too bad. And get that oxygen room fixed up pretty easily. Our hull damage is, uh, is sitting at about half, um, which isn't fantastic, but um, I've certainly found myself in worse situations in the past. I'm far more concerned about our fuel reserves, as I've mentioned countless times. But I feel like it's imperative that you know how disconcerted I am with this situation that we're in. Um, hopefully we'll get some fuel from this guy. Uh, probably not, because we've been somewhat unlucky thus far. Oh, we got three fuel, okay. Every time I say something, the opposite happens, so I'm just, from now on, gonna say, nope, no way we're getting the fuel and hope for the best. Ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Only one fuel, which is, uh, okay, that's something. Uh, lots of scrap, that's great. That's a lot. Um... I feel like now would be a good time to make some upgrades. Let's throw some power into the shields. I think that is a good way to go. So we can just tank that damage. Um, I think that perhaps Nazia has become proficient with the engines. Our shields are almost leveled up. Oh, Rick has done well piloting, which is nice. Um, everybody is... Dolan, you've now fallen behind. I'm disappointed. Still no shops. Uh, let's move into the nebula. Hopefully we'll find one there. Again, my instincts tell me that it's less likely, but we'll see. It's not unusual to feel paranoia in a slug-controlled nebula, but for once it is unfounded. And we will move on. We will stay somewhat on course to the exit because of our fuel, but you kind of have to draw a balance between making a beeline, but also exploring enough so that you don't miss out on the shops. You arrive to the site of two slug ships in communication range. They don't see you. Let's tap their comm frequency and see what they're saying. You overhear the conversation and learn they're planning to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. The pair jump off and you note down the target coordinates. So obviously, we can get up there and beat them to the action. And I think we will attempt to do that because the payout might be very much worth it. You're surpri uh, surprised to find a ship without slug marking stranded all the way out here and move in to provide assistance. When you see the pirate insignia on the hull, you quickly reconsider. Um, they've got double shields and apparently, well, they've got some drones, but there's no power in them. They could just not be powered up yet. Let's go for it. What the hell? Our hull is um, a little low, but we may be able to get some uh, get some fuel here, so... That is the route we're going to take. They have an offensive drone. They don't have a defensive drone, however, which is um, good news because I will be able to put in a missile or two. We've got three levels of shields now, so I'm feeling um, a lot more confident with uh, the tanking of damage, even though the, uh, the missiles will very much just pierce the shields no matter how many you have. Um, I'm going to go for the weapons again because they still uh, they still have those missiles online and they will continue to punch through and do damage. Let's get Ken out of there because he's a weak little girl and we don't want him to hurt himself. We want to keep those weapons offline. That is our priority right now. I shot another missile by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Um, we're going to take the missiles off and we need to go for the engines. We're running low on missiles but I don't want them to escape so I'm just going to... I'm gonna blast another missile in there. I think that may have been the right choice. I, one fuel, which is not the best, but what are you going to do? Such is life. 